Dan Floyd here with the latest. Inflation's come in at 7% over 12 months, but what does that mean for the cash rate? The RBA meets next week, and there's been talk this number will factor into a potential hike or a continued pause. 2 to 3% is their ultimate target when it comes to inflation. New evidence could lead to a reasonable doubt over Kathleen Fulbick's convictions. A judicial inquiry so the New South Wales DPP accepts the evidence points to the possibility of it. Ms Fulbick was handed a 25-year sentence following the deaths of her four kids in the 80s and 90s. The Health Minister's hosing down talk the government's planned shake-up of prescriptions will cause headaches for pharmacists. Millions will be able to buy a two-month supply of hundreds of PBS medicines for the price of one month starting September. Pharmacies are worried about the impact on supplies, but Mark Butler's assuring us the majority of the medicines on the list are plentiful and companies who supply our pharmacies have a clear mandate if supplies run low. Any pharmacist that is dealing with supply shortages will have that supply delivered within 24 hours anywhere in this country, whether you're a pharmacy in the city or whether you're a pharmacy in regional and rural Australia. Still in Canberra and the Greens are threatening to block the government's $10 billion affordable housing fund. They want the plan significantly improved. It currently aims to create 30,000 new homes in a decade. Briefly, Victoria is raising the age of criminal responsibility to 14 by 2027 and there's reports Canberra will provide $240 million needed for Tasmania to build a new stadium, allowing the state to be granted a coveted licence for an AFL team. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Sydney's a chance to regain Lance Franklin, Dane Rampey and Tom McCartan for Saturday's derby against the Giants. Co-captain Callum Mills confirming the injured trio are in the frame. They're not ruled out. Uh, we'll see how this weekend goes, but, um, you know, obviously can't say they're definitely playing as well. So we'll see how this week pans out. Still on footy and Hawthorne spearhead Mitch Lewis will be available for his first game of the season, provided he makes it through tomorrow's main training session following that knee injury. The Hawks face the Dogs Saturday. And Carlton's decided not to challenge Jesse Motlin's one-game suspension for a swing tackle. Selling the family home, Miller, Juan and John put you first. This is SAFM Weather. 24 with a slight chance of a shower tonight across the limestone coast. Tomorrow, 21 and 17 on Friday. Want more local news? Get free breaking news about our community. Download the listener app, search for the limestone coast and add to your favourites now.